Hi, this is Leah from Imagine DIY and I'm super excited about today's video. I'm going to show you how we make these wax seals using a few basic tools that are available on our website. Um, we're going to start with a tea light. I've got a melting spoon and I've got some various types of wax. But I'm going to show you just these small wax tablets. I'm going to use three of them. Um, I like to use three because I, I like quite a thick seal. But if you wanted a thinner seal, two would be perfect too. So I'm just going to close in here and as you can see I'm holding the spoon over the flame of the light. It's just slightly above the flame because you don't want to uh, stop the oxygen get into the flame. And we're just going to hold the spoon over the top until the wax tablets have melted. And you'll know they melted because it'll create like an even pool at the top of the wax. So you can just see them now. The thick chunks are disappearing and you want to wait until it's just quite nice and smooth at the top. So we're just getting close now. It is quite a slow process, but you'll find that the second lot you'll do, the spoon will already have warmed up, so it'll be a little bit quicker the second, third time you use it. So we're getting close, there you go. Can you see it's ready? So I'm just gonna get my piece of paper. I'm gonna zoom out. I'm just gonna carefully pour the wax out onto the paper. There, so I've got a nice even circle. I'm going to take my wax seal and it's really important at this stage that you make sure you've got your wax seal facing the right way up. So just check it by eye to make sure that when you do stamp it, it's going to stamp in the right direction. And then just carefully press it into the middle of the wax. Now at this stage, it's best to just leave it just for a few seconds, just for the wax to harden off. So while it's hardening off, I'm going to show you how we do the same thing just using a wax stick. So I'm just taking the scissors and I'm just going to cut maybe about seven millimeters off the end of the wax stick. And there, that will act the same as those little tablets did. So you can melt those in the spoon. We've got these larger wax seals. And again, you can use one for a thin, for a thin seal. But if you wanted a thicker seal, just also cut one in half. And use one and a half for every seal and just pop those in the wax spoon. That's my preference, but one would also be fine. So as you can see, I'm just taking the wax seal off now. It should lift off quite easily and you've got a beautiful seal. Um, wax seals have become so fashionable at the moment. They had a really elegant touch and they're so cheap as well. So I'm quickly just gonna show you how to clean it. You can do this immediately after you've used the, the spoon, but I'm just warming it up to show you how it's done. So I've just melted the wax off and I'm just using a piece of tissue paper and just wiping this over. Be careful as you do this because it can get a little bit hot. Um, and there, you can see it's just clean and ready to use with any other, an, other colour. I'll also recommend just in between burns, if you just rub the bottom with a piece of tissue paper, because the... Um, the soot does build up at the bottom of the spoon and you don't want to have any residue catching fire. So just lightly burn it. But as you can see, it's super easy, super chic and definitely worth giving a go. Have fun. Don't forget to visit our website www.imagineDIY.co.uk and also subscribe to our channel for some great new tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.